Hi everyone, this is Rahul and let's uh, begin with the market analysis for this week. So, as usual, let's start with the last week. We were expecting a bearish move on HDFC last week and you can see the last week's candle was bearish. It did go down. It got uh, pulled, back, pulled back up later, but the candle is still bearish. Your bullish on Hindustan Unilever price did go up and continues to show upward momentum. ITC, we were expecting a bearish move. We have a red candle. Asian planes, we were expecting the market to go up, but here we can see a reversal kind of a setup. Price actually came down and has done a bearish engulfing. So this did not go as per our expectation. Britannia, we were bullish. Price moved up last week. Nestle, we were bullish. You can see price has moved up. NTPC was a short call from last week. You can see a strong bearish candle on NTPC. And that's it for last week. Now, let us uh, start with the analysis for this week. In fact, we're just going to be discussing the direction of Nifty and Bank Nifty. And we'll be looking at some trading opportunities that I can see on the charts. Let's start with Nifty. Now, weekly chart is showing us a strong bearish engulfing. Last week you can see the candle was small, even though it made a new high, it was a small candle which not showing a lot of momentum. This week you can see a bearish engulfing, right? If we check the daily chart, price looks like it is going back up. But what I'm expecting is uh, it could be a double top or it continue or it could continue to fall. You can see the momentum is not there anymore. Right, so I would be bearish for the next week, for this week, that is. Uh, I'm doing a sell side on Nifty. But yes, I would wait for a higher price to go short. Similarly, on Bank Nifty, it's much more um, evident and clear on Bank Nifty. We can see a bearish momentum starting to build. Uh, we On the daily chart, we have a breakout and a pullback, which you can see here. Right. You can extend this line on the left as well. It has a strong resistance, strong support. This is acting as a good resistance right now. Yes, this is the one that we're talking about. Right? So there's a breakout, there's a pullback. Expecting the market to fall from here. So I'm bearish on both Nifty and Bank Nifty for this week. And let us see. Um, some trading opportunities. I see a short opportunity on Indus in bank. You can see the direction is already bearish. There's a momentum. Uh, the first target would be 1188. So we'll be sell on Indus in. Bajaj Auto looks bearish. So there was this big move, a pullback. If you check with the Fibonacci ratio, We have seen a pullback of 50% already, right? So I'm expecting the market to go back and test the low at 2994. Moving on to Hindustan Unilever. Uh, I'm bullish on this week as well. Last week was a bullish uh, expectation. You can see price did go down and pulled back up. So this week I'm expecting for the upward move. So I would be uh, green on Hindustan Unilever. Again for this week, a uh, short on ITC. You can see price is getting rejected multiple number of times. So there should be a big candle forming anytime soon. So I'll be short on ITC. Britannia bullish. You can see the reason why is exact strategy entry as well. Um, so there's not a body dominating candle, so not a confirmed entry yet, but it is a good support and price is bouncing up. We had a morning, we had an engulfing at the support. So just like last week, we would be bullish for this week also on Britannia. Nestle again bullish. So you can see consumer sector still looks strong. Uh, bullish move on Nestle. Nestle is on the upward trend making new highs. Titan also showing bullish signs. You can see a uh, low, a higher low price at the resistance. I'm expecting a breakout this week. 
Coming to Reliance, Reliance looks like it has uh, made a reversal at the top with this strong body dominating bearish Marubozu candle doing the engulfing in the last uh, 5 to 6 weeks, 7 weeks in fact um, also a double top right you can see it has been tested so gives us a good signal to go short with a target of 1420 and the last one for today UPL uh, I'm bearish on this. You can see the momentum is building on the downside. There was a double top. Price is going to test the neckline soon. Also good support. So um, first target of 500, which is also psychological level. Uh, that would be the call for short call for UPL for this week. That's it for now, guys. Any other uh, stocks that you want to check, you can feel free to post on the comments. Thank you all. Safe trading and see you guys next week. Bye bye.